your local weather with the KX News Storm Team. 617, welcome back. Well, uh, wind is a factor today, right, Everett? It's increased a little bit. You know, uh, we've been really lucky all week with the wind department. It hasn't yeah. been a particularly yes. windy week like awesome. last week or like what we could see next week. But uh, here is the uh, the satellite radar. You see there we've got some rain kind of headed for us. That's going to be in the form of some scattered rain this afternoon in the west and chances for storms through the evening. So you're not going to spend the bulk of the day with rain chances, but you are going to see clouds increase first. Seeing just a few light radar returns there in the southwest, but clouds are increasing in the west as we speak. You can see that here on the Dickinson camera, seeing some clouds roll in as as we speak here. And we'll see, for a lot of us, a sunny start this morning. Already seeing that here in Watford City, but the clouds will be thickening up through the afternoon, bringing in chances for rain later today. Right now, 40s and 50s. Uh, we're at 50 degrees in Beach, North Dakota, 46 in Stanley, 45 in the capital city. Light and variable winds this morning will basically shift and become southeasterly, and they increase today. 50 to 20, gusting to 30. You'll feel the winds, and you're also going to feel the warmth. Highs are back into the upper 70s to low 80s, kind of similar to what we had yesterday. Maybe a few more 80s on the map, only we're going to have a little more cloud cover, so the sun may not feel as hot out there to you. So here's the clouds increasing today ahead of that chance for some rain. The rain chance is mainly off towards the west this afternoon. And if you're in central North Dakota, you have a better chance this evening to see showers and thunderstorms. We're new watching any storm that develops in the southwest is where we'll have the most unstable air. But remember that if you are doing any camping, even if we have a non severe threat here in the north, you still have the possibility of lightning. Lightning can hit your house and do damage to your home, and that storm could not be deemed as severe just severe to you, but not deemed as severe with hail and wind. So that's unfortunate here, something we want to watch. We watch all storms because of that. Uh, rain chances very isolated into the first half of Saturday, and then it's Saturday evening, a much more robust chance, but it's off towards the afternoon. We've got the south and the southeast here with the more unstable air, if you will. Heading into Sunday, a scattered chance for rain. So the takeaway here, chances for rain and storms, certainly there over the weekend and into the Memorial Day. Uh, we've got chances for storms that could be severe, again, kind of reaching into Willis to Bismarck, but I think the most unstable air will be to the southwest. Maybe an isolated storm or two could become severe, and that is the same case as we head into Saturday. An isolated storm or two could become severe if it pops up here in south central and southeast North Dakota. Let's talk Monday, Memorial Day. We've got uh, basically the spigot turned on for Monday and into Tuesday. This low moving through is going to bring a lot of wind and it's going to bring a lot of rain as well into Tuesday. It's also going to cool us down a bit as well. So here are your next 10 days. You can see what that's going to do for some of us. We're only going to be in the 50s on Tuesday, but we rebound quickly as we head into the next few days. In Dickinson, your average high right now is 70. We'll be 10 degrees above that for today and very average for the weekend. Here's the forecast for Williston looking for uh, really temperatures close to 80s today, and we're looking at that chance near daily for rain and storms. And as we head through the next seven days, the most really robust chance for rain and storms will come in the evenings and then heading into Monday and into Tuesday. That's your mine up forecast. Also in Bismarck looking for those temperatures to return to the 80s today. We did hit I believe 82 yesterday mm. in Bismarck. So. Well, Lisa Moisture creates less of a fire threat, right? Yeah, it always argue. helps mm -hmm. to get that that moisture yeah, for sure. Definitely. All right. Thank you, Amber, and keep it with us here this morning on Good Day Dakota. Still ahead, the name comes from 